Hi, and thank you for joining me tonight. I'm Pam Wrigley, and tonight I'm going to show you how to work with heated rollers and with tongs. Um, and we're going to create a gorgeous kind of textured, quick textured, half up style for short hair. And tonight we're going to be talking quite a lot about what products to use when you're working with soft, silky hair. So the first thing you should use, actually, uh, before we do that, let's just let me mention that if you have any questions as we go through tonight's tutorial, please just pop your questions into the chat box and I will do my best to answer. And don't miss another tutorial. Remember to subscribe and um, then you can watch me every week and learn something new. And you know what, if you've got any styles that you'd like to learn, if you have any of your clients or brides have asked you to create any particular hairstyles, then do get in touch and I will try and fit one of your hairstyles in, in a future tutorial. Tonight, we're working with kind of short, short hair. It's kind of shoulder length, so a short bob, maybe a little bit shorter than mine. And the hair prep, we're going to do a kind of textured style, but we're going to use tongs and heated rollers. Now, heated rollers have kind of gone a little bit out of fashion, but you know what? They are fantastic, and you can't beat them if your bride wants to get some height and volume and a bit of oomph in the hair, and they're really quick to use. So I can definitely, I've kind of, I moved away from them for a little bit, but now I've found that this year, lots of our brides are asking me for styles that have got a lot of height and texture. So I'm going to show you how you can get both height and texture using the heated rollers. I very rarely put them all in, put them all over the head at the moment. I can maybe kind of tong the hair at the bottom, like I have today, and I'll use the heated rollers in the crown where I want to get that volume. So I've put some mousse in the hair, first of all, and tonight I used the Osis, you can see that, soft glam mousse. And um, that just gives the hair, when it's a little bit soft and silky, it gives it a bit of grip and a bit of, it starts off that kind of texturizing process. Then you're going to work with the tongs on the back sections, and I used my favorite. I'm always mentioning my Infinium, L'Oreal Infinium Extra Strong Hairspray. And I actually use those before I curl the hair. I use a bit of heat protector always. It's mousse, then heat protector. Then when you come to curl the hair, that's when we use the Infinium. So when I use my, um, when I'm tonging the hair at the back, I'll use the Infinium before I curl the hair. And here on the crown, I'll, I'll spray each section on the top here with that Infinium hairspray before I put the heated roller in. And that is how we get that lovely textured look. Rather than getting a kind of smooth, you still get a smooth, glossy curl, but it, it's a little bit kind of um, crispy. And it just means that then you can get that lovely, textured feel to the hair quickly and easily. And you can see just by having the heated rollers in, you can see how much kind of root lift, make sure you can see here, all that lovely shape and curve you get here at the root. So it's a bit like doing a blow dry, but easier. So let's take these heated rollers out. So it's just a kind of really easy style to create. Once you've got those heated rollers in, especially if your client has fine hair and she wants height, you can't, you can't beat them. So let's see, let's get our little bit of textured height now. We can use a little bit of hairspray on there. Look at that for height. We don't want quite that much height, but you get the picture. So the other thing we have to do is when we're working with short hair, 
you might not be able to bring everything you know all these bits might not be long enough to sweep all the way to the back so I'm going to show you how let me just get a little bit of my list control smoothing cream so I'm going to just show you we're just going to quickly bring this hair back and we're going to start creating these kind of PC little textured sections on the hair you could use a little bit of spray wax or you could use your structure cream but you can see with the the help of the uh the heated rollers you kind of barely need to do anything to get that height it's just there waiting for you to just come on in and start creating your style so as i say sometimes I know I've got assistants that I work with who have started to put their heated rollers back in their kit because they're literally that easy to use. So let's just gather our hair at the back here. Let's make sure we're happy with this height and gather this hair together. Now, when you do a roller set, you do need to be mindful of uh, where you, how you set the hair, where you put the heated rollers. So if you're not sure, we do have an uh, online bridal hair course. This is a blonde pin I'm putting in the back there. So you can just see what I'm doing. And we've got our height here. So we've got our online bridal hair course. So you can always learn step by step by step and there is a lot to learn when it comes to creating bridal hairstyles but once you've got once you've kind of once you get into that training it's a fabulous career to do so now we're just going to work on bringing these side sections back so this one i think will come back to about here and in each section i'm just going to pop a bobby pin now, I'm going to imagine I did this style on a lady. Let me just see whose picture we used at the beginning of this tutorial. And she, her hair was kind of barely long enough. Because you've got layers at the front, it was kind of barely long enough to bring all the way back. So I just literally brought it to as far as I could bring it, which was probably about here, and just gripped it. So it left this little bit exposed but don't worry about that because I'm going to show you a way to cover it when we get to the end so you get your little PC sections remember as best you can when you're securing these bobby pins to make sure that they're hidden she might want to have a few bits done let's just check our questions Let's have a look. Oh, hello, Adwa. Ah, the heated rollers are, yes, I, we do have a beginner's course, which is our level one course. So if you haven't done, if you haven't worked with hair before or worked in beauty before, that's a great place to start. And on the beginner's course, we show you how to work with heated rollers. Basically, it's all about hair prep. That's it. That's lovely. All about hair prep. So we've got the heated rollers and tongs and working with straighteners, as well as, you know, the all important health and safety. So let's just bring this now. Now, this is quite a good example, actually, because this bit isn't very short, isn't very long. So I'm just going to bring it back just to where it will reach. We want to make sure we're still happy with the shape here. And I think we are. I'm working with a mirror just off camera here. So I don't want to pull it back tight to try and, to try and cover that bobby pin at the back. No, we're going to come back and cover that bobby pin later. So let's just work a section at a time, tweaking the hair. Let's take this roller out at the front now. I use, use a large roller for this front section. And then you can kind of decide you know, I usually ask my clients where she wants the hair to go, whether she wants it to the left, 
or over to the right or maybe back. Mm, that might look quite nice on this lady, but I think for today's tutorial, I think we'll go for a bit of a side sweep. And the large rollers, believe it or not, they just kind of really help to shape the hair. They don't give it too much of a curl. You just get a little bit of a curve in the hair. I think this section here is, is changing. That's it. That's better. Have a play around. Find the direction that you want the hair to go in. Twist and secure. That's it. That's better. So the heated rollers are great when it comes to getting volume and umph and a curl. And you can also get texture if you use the right products. Let's pop our bobby pin in here. And we're kind of almost there. So really this tutorial is kind of showing you just quick ways of working with shorter hair. That's it. Let's check our front section. Lovely. And you will probably maybe come back over some of these little sections here just to make sure it's all kind of curled nicely. You know, she's got any little soft bits that she wants down at the front. Or does she want it all sweeping back? Have a little play. Remember to work with a mirror. Remember to check with your client. So the short hair again is not going to reach to the back, but we don't want to worry about that. The last thing you want to do is start pulling that hair back tight. So you want to check in the mirror, make sure that your client's happy. Mm, let's see if we can hide this pin. So there's a short bit of hair. I might use a Hmm. Let me get a dark bobby pin. That's it. That's it. There we go. So I've got my little dark bobby pin. Hide that underneath there. Make sure the bobby pin's not visible. Let me just do this the right way. I'm kind of back to front here. So it's put the grip in. Then I'm going to turn and I'm going to pop that bobby pin into the hair. That's it, gone. Oops, no, we don't want that little gap there, do we? I'll tell you what we could use here. I've got some little pins I got ready earlier and we can just use a little hairpin to prop these bits up. If you want to do a little bit more PC, remember. Oops, let's lift her up a bit so you can see. That's it, so we've got our height. Remember, you can always create your little piece, extra piecey sections with your wax, with the little hairpins in the hair to separate them. We've done that on previous tutorials. So we've got a little half up, half down style. We will need to come back and kind of curl these sections with the tongs, I mean, just so that everything blends in together. Let me get her a little bit closer for you. That's it. So we've got our little textured half up, half down style. I would probably come back and recurl these sections at the front with the straighteners or with the tongs just to make sure we're happy with the position of everything. Let's bring that back a little bit. I might take our little, our little pins in here. And then we're going to recurl these bits so that everything blends in together. What you can do with these if you want to, let's get a little bit of product there. You can just get a little bit of cream on the ends of those curls. You could kind of twist them up and create a little detail here to cover the recurl the hair so that it all blends in nicely. So this is kind of just that one of those little finishing touches that will just make everything kind of blend together and look fabulous. So spend a little bit of time 
on these little finishing sections. And then we'll pop our accessories in, take our hairpins out. That's better. Lovely. Now let's cover our bobby pin. I mean, you wouldn't, you, I wouldn't use a blonde pin at the back here if this were my client's wedding day. But for the purposes of the tutorial, you can see we can pop these in. Use our little hair clip. Whoops. Be careful when you're using these little sparkly things because they can capture on the hair. Let me take these pins out. That's it. And you need to come back. She's got a little dip in her hair here, so we'd need to come back and work with that. But just, just for the purposes of our tutorial today, just be careful when you pop these in that those little diamonds don't catch on the hair. We're going to cover any visible bobby pins here because that's the last thing we want in any of our hairstyles. And maybe one more bobby pin there. Sorry, sparkly hair accessory going behind that bobby pin. And that looks gorgeous. So for short hair, we've got a lovely style. Let's give this a little bit of a curl here, I think. Coming back a little bit. This was in the heated roller, so it's not got, you know, it's got a movement and shape. But I think we need a little bit more curl in that section. That's better. So remember, when you're working with heated rolls, you will need to come back, especially for these front sections, and recurl either with the tongs or with the straightener. She definitely needs me to look at this bit here in the middle, but for the purposes of today. <laughs> Let's get her there. That's it. Always helps when you're creating a hairstyle. I always say this, if you stand in the right place, which isn't this side of the practice that it's kind of at the back, but I always like to stand here when I'm teaching you these different styles so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight's tutorial, our pretty little textured half up style for short hair using heated rollers and tongs. So the tongs at the bottom, you could use tongs or straighteners. And then we've got our heated rollers here at the top, which gave us our texture and our volume. And remember, when you're using heated rollers, when you want to create a textured style, get a bit of texture in the hair with your mousse to begin with, a little bit of heat protector and your Infinium L'Oreal Infinium Stronghold Hairspray. And then you'll get volume, oomph, bit of a curl, and a gorgeous textured style. Just check our questions again. Oh, good, I'm glad. Oh, I think I've shown you the twirl. I was just asked me for a twirl. So, yeah, thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye.